Hey, Laura. How you doing? Hi, I'm doing good today. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. Great. So, hey, so we, um, we've been doing videos lately and we've been getting some questions. And you were telling me yesterday about one of the patients uh, that you're treating right now with Hashimoto's um, that you're getting great results with. Um, and huh, also this patient is Amish, which a lot of people find kind of interesting. Um, so can you tell me a little bit about her case? Yeah, well, she's been a client of mine for over a year. And initially I used nutrition response testing to work with her. And I knew she had a hypothyroid, but I, you know, the only thing she ever tested for was um, basically gut, gut support, like enzymes, probiotics, things like that. And in the meantime, you know, she had a healthy baby, a healthy pregnancy, but within the last three, four weeks, she came up with severe hives. Okay. She had, that, that was her main issue, yeah. hives. And they were burning, itching all over her body. She couldn't sleep at night. She was having a really hard time with it. Yeah. And she um, had gone to her medical doctor and gotten prednisone and a couple of other things, which actually were not working. I yeah. thought, wow, prednisone not working for hives, that is bad. Yeah, that's bad. That's bad. So I did some blood work on her, and it turns out she has really high thyroid antibodies, which is a sign that she might have Hashimoto's. That's not something that I can really say for sure. But, you know, since it's probably there, you know, you can start working on it. And, you know, what other questions did you have? <laughs> <laughs> Well, I was just, you answered a bunch of the questions. I was going to say, what was the medical treatment, which you said was a hives. Didn't, they, didn't you say that they also yeah, put Yeah, they her, also put her on a sedative, <laughs> and they put her on a acid blocker, like wow. an H2 receptor antagonist blocker. So I thought, I thought, wow, those things are not going to help to yeah. get to the bottom of this at all. Well, didn't she also have, um, like, a dangerously deficient iron? Yeah, she was dangerously deficient in iron. Was, it, was that because of the acid blocker, or was that... Well, no, because she hadn't started taking it yet. But it was contraindicated then. Well... Or maybe for, we shouldn't for, say contraindicated, For but... a drug that, that has been shown that can deplete iron over time, maybe yeah. not the wisest thing to do if mm. your ferritin is only 8. No, it was her iron saturation. But... Yeah. Yeah, they didn't do the test. So how oh, yeah, they so know? they didn't know what to do. They right. They Her just hemoglobin was not low. So she wasn't, she wasn't clinically anemic. She was functionally anemic, but not clinically. So th it's not something that they picked up. So they wouldn't oh. have known about it because they didn't do the iron tests. Why do you think they didn't do it? But that's not something they do routinely. Huh, I wonder about that. That's yeah. interesting. Yeah, I know. Okay, I wonder what, well, I wonder how they, did, they came to that diagnosis then. Um, so... Yeah, you, I wonder what, too. <laughs> um... Anyway, yeah, I don't know. Um, so what did you advise her to do? Well, basically, I just looked at her blood work. It was a full panel of different things, that, uh -huh. uh, different tests that showed her nutritional status in different areas. Right. And I addressed those things using supplements, and I also used nutrition response testing to make sure that the supplements were, were utilizable by available, correct for her body. Right. And I put her on a program. I put her on a gut cleanse, oh, which yeah. is something I blogged about. What is, tell me about that. How, how do you do the gut cleanse? Because it's, there's actually a very specific way to do it that you, you, I mean, you did it yourself. Yeah. And you got it from Dr. Ruscio, right? I did. I, I got this gut, <clears throat> gut cleanse from Dr. Ruscio. It's, there's an expanded gut cleanse and then there's a mini gut cleanse. And I think the mini gut cleanse is enough to get <laughs> results with. So, so what'd you do? I did one day of bone broth only. Yeah. And then two weeks after that of paleo low FODMAP. Now, Paleo FODMAP is not the easiest diet to do, yeah. but I adhered to it about 80, 85% through the two weeks and I, I got results with it. I, I, I know you did. You used I to have, you know, better. gastric symptoms before that. It just, it seemed yeah. like it was just part of the, the fun of being married to you, but. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for mentioning that. <laughs> hey, hey, you can, you can mention my problems later. Um, but, uh, okay. But yeah, I, I know that you, you said, <laughs> I'm sorry. It's okay. You said it was kind of a pain in the butt, but you, I will tell you that it you're definitely, you also, it, it definitely, um, didn't it also help you lose weight? I don't know if I lost weight on that. Yeah. Um, it was the sort of the protein sparing modified fast that I lost weight, but I was we, able to maintain on that. Okay. We, we'll do the protein sparing on another. That's another. Because that, that, that is another. also something that's worked very well for you. It has. Okay. And a lot of my clients. All right, good. So, all right. So, um, 
So she's feeling better now. Well, I called her. Let's see. I put her on this program last week. Um, it was kind of a whirlwind of trying to get everything together and get her squared away because she was really hurting. Yeah. And I, I saw her at least twice in one week. Mm -hmm. And I was twice. And then I called her yesterday and she's doing much better. Awesome. She's doing much better. So basically, are her hives doing better? Her hives are better. They're wow. almost all gone. And she feels better? And she feels better. Oh, that's awesome. I don't know if her thyroid antibodies are going to respond to this program or not. <clears throat> I yeah. told her that in about three months we'll do the test again and see if things have changed. Sometimes okay. they come down, sometimes they don't. So we just kind of have to see how yeah. that goes. I know. We've seen that before too. I saw. I remember one study that showed that these diets that we put people on either, you know, the um, autoimmune paleo or low fat FODMAP or whatever we do, you know, determine what the people need, even though their their numbers might uh, come might not come down, they actually feel much better, which is yeah. actually, that's kind of like something that's overlooked um, in right now in today's medicine is actually how does the patient feel? Right. So. Right, as long as she's feeling better, that I consider that a success, and she is feeling better. And, and she had been suffering for like a month. So. And her objective signs are better, too. Her objective signs yeah, are better, good. too. Good, 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 good. Um, so let's see, was there anything else that I wanted to ask you? So, all right, one of the reasons why I wanted to um, talk to you about this is that right now we seem to have an unprecedented problem with the immune system yeah. um, in this coronavirus. And I have seen a lot of people come in with chronic immune system problems. And when you handle um, the issues why they have, you know, severe iron deficiencies, it actually, their immune system kind of perks back up and it normalizes. Right. Um, do you think that something like this could actually help your immune system? Yeah, absolutely. I was just looking at the literature, some, some of the literature on this the other day, and a study was just published in... I think it was the journal Nutrients this year yeah. on the nutrients that have been shown to help the immune system. So not only from a theoretical point of view, like this is what your immune system needs, like the nuts and bolts, but also what has been shown with clinical studies right. to enhance immune function. And I can't remember the name of the article, but I'll try to post it. Well, what are the nutrients? Well, the ones that have been proven. Yeah according to randomized controlled trials yeah. would be vitamin D, yeah. zinc, and vitamin C. Those are the three proven nutrients. Yeah, I, I, yeah. However, yeah. We, we know that there's a lot more to it than that and that there are a lot of other nutrients that we should be looking at and mostly in a whole food form. Right. That way your body knows how to utilize it. I can guarantee you that in the studies they did not use a whole food form of the, those vitamins. Yeah. They were using ascorbic acid. Yeah, um, they still worked. And it still worked. Yeah, so they worked that much better when we have a whole food form like we yeah. use. Yeah, cool. I mean, you can kind of infer that. Cool. Right? Yeah, I was actually just reading an article st uh, showing how zinc actually stops replication of the coronaviruses. And that's actually, I think, the mechanism by which plaque, was it plaquenil? Um, the Hydroxychloroquine? Yeah, yeah, chloroquine. I think that's also the, the other name is plaquenil. But okay. Don't quote me on that, um, but I, I think that's actually how it works. It actually increases intracellular concentrations of zinc to stop the coronavirus. So, yeah, it's interesting. It's yeah. interesting. So you can take zinc, but is your body going to absorb it? And yeah. so that's why we try to stick to the whole foods because your body knows what to do with them when it sees it. It's like yeah. it's occurring in food naturally and not some other yeah. way. Can I can I put one two cents in about zinc? Of course. By the way, guys, the most important, uh, or I say the highest concentration of uh, food that uh, was it the food with the highest concentration in zinc? Oh wow, well, yeah. Is what? Oysters. Oysters. How many? Raw oysters. How many need to eat? I don't know. I think it's twelve per week, uh, something like that. But Specifically, basically, you can, I love oysters. Yeah, it's very easy it's to look favorite. up. What's the second highest? I can't get them right now, though. No. Uh, maybe I could. Maybe I could go to Mr. Bill's. Maybe they have. Yeah, you might maybe be that open. place is still open. We'd have to check. The second yeah. highest is ginger root. Am I right? I'm not sure, but I know I'm. I'm after the next one. I don't remember. Liver. Oh well, liver's up there. Liver's up there. Guys, if you're listening, okay, liver is a superfood, uh, even though some people hate it. If you can tolerate it, mix it in with something or whatever, it actually has the proper balance of zinc, copper, and iron to um, basically help rebuild your immune system. Um, any kind of iron deficiencies, zinc deficiencies, copper deficiencies. It also is very high in vitamin A and the 
form that's in food has been shown to also stop viral replication. Anyway. Yeah, and I, pu- I pureed some liver, and I recently put it in a chili that I made because I don't like liver, yeah. and I won't eat it unless it's mixed in. So that's how I got my liver in. Oh, did you put it in the... No. It was in the chili. You love that chili. Yeah, I do. Okay. All right, well, thank you for taking the time out and doing this for me and everybody else. Um, if If you like this video, please share it with others because... We have seen that when you work on auto, people with autoimmune diseases, their immune system perks up and uh, we kind of theorize that that would help with other immune system disorders. Anyway, so thanks for your time. Um, and also, um, I hear that you're also doing online telehealth now? Yes, I am. I have a virtual practice now. I've been consulting with people on the phone and online and it's going great. How, yeah, how they like it. They like it. Yeah. Yeah, they, I think they're finding that taking the time to delve into things a little bit more than what you can do in the office yeah. is really nice. Yeah. Kind of working on some areas that maybe wouldn't be addressed otherwise. So yeah. it's nice. Yeah, there's some real pros to it. There are. Yeah. Okay. okay. All right. Well, thanks very much. And I will talk to you soon. Thanks, all right. you all, for joining us. Thank you.